Hey everyone, Techni here. Now some of you know I just recently got done with my first ever PC build. Oh, it was such a blast. I just wanted to get in and make another one. I just wanted to build another one right off the bat. You know, it was so much fun. And I started thinking, man, I'd really love to do a budget build. So that's what I got right here, this RX 570. And I started thinking, I was like, all right, now I got this RX 570, four gigabyte one here. It's the gigabyte, so I paid roughly around 100 bucks for it, you know, maybe a little bit more. Um, and I started thinking, I'm like, you know, I'm buying this cheap graphics card. I don't wanna say cheap as in like not good, but cheap as in price, right? I was like, I'm just wondering in my head like, wow, how much difference is the Vegas 64 that I use on my main PC? Like, am I gonna notice, you know, obviously the Vegas 64 is better, right? I'm not questioning that. Like, you know, this isn't, hey, is the Vegas 64 better than the 570? Obviously, you know what I mean? But I'm just kind of wondering like, is it that big of a difference to justify, again, from 100 bucks to 400 bucks? But obviously, in this test, the 570, I don't think we'll be able to push it too hard at 1440p, right? So uh, it kind of wouldn't be a fair comparison. So what we're gonna do in this test here with these two guys is we're gonna put everything at 1080p and we're gonna leave the settings just base. So if we gotta put it on medium or high or whatever, we'll leave it there. And we're gonna try our best not to adjust anything within the game. Maybe if we gotta, you know, take off some V-Sync or something here or there, whatever, you know, we'll do that. But uh, again, I wanna try to make it as easy and straight to the point as we can. Bam, pop those settings on high or bam, pop them on medium and just leave it like that. Not having to tweak all this stuff to get this performance. Just again, straight out the box, adjust our settings and let's see what we get. All right, so we got Division 2 loaded up. Again, high settings, V-Sync off, 1080p, and I just loaded into control point here. I'm at 121 right now. Um, sometimes it was getting down to like 107s, 109s, and then sometimes it was up in the uh, high 130s. But again, I'd say just right around the, you know, the low 100s right there. Let's go on and run around a little bit and see what we, you know, I usually play it, like I said, in that 1440p when I knock it down to this 1080. Oh, so those are those are more of our people. Let's see if we... See, so it's 114, 108. There we go. We hit the 108. And it's back up to the 130, 138. So, like I said, it's all around the place from low 100s to right around to, like I said, those uh, 130s with the Vegas 64 on high settings and the Division 2. So, we're 116, 114. So again, so we'll say right there, we'll say average right around the, the low hundreds right there. Uh, so here we go, running the benchmark on Shadow of War here. I've never done this before. This is pretty cool. Start at 130 right now. 126. 120. Jeez, they're bobbing in and out of these trees here. It's making me nauseous. All right, so we have a result for the benchmark running the Shadow of War on high, and our average frames was 121. Again, on high settings, V-Sync off, Vega 64. You know, I wanted to test this on medium settings as well, just to kind of see what we get across here. And honestly, just to this test, it just, um, looking at it, it looks the same. 150, 152. As far as quality, it looks the same as when I'm looking at it. I see a lot of stuff popping in, especially shadows. So 148, our average on this. Um, decent little uh, increase right there. What was that, 28? I forget what it was on uh, on high settings. Me personally, it was too noticeable going from high to medium on this. I saw, like I said, you saw the grass growing in right there. The shadows were popping, you know, quite frequently. Maybe if you're playing a game, you're not moving around as quick as that uh, benchmark was, you know, so you won't notice it that much, but... um. Like I said, it, it's there, so I'd probably just keep it on high. I think 120 or in the hundreds is plenty fine as far as frames. Right, so now we're going to test out some Apex Legends. Now, I haven't played this game in so long. Apparently, there's not a way to adjust it just to high, medium, and low right off the bat. you got to go in here and actually dabble with everything, so that kind of stinks. All right, so right now, we're just flying in. It's saying up here, 112, uh, down to 90s. Now that we just passed that mountain, we got all the scenes. We're back up to 115. Let's go. We're going to jump right, right away. My team is going to be so mad at me that I'm just doing a test here. Right? So anyways, Apex Legends, like I said, 120, 140s, top out 150s here and there. But I'd say we're staying average, average around the 130s. And again, we have it on high with those other couple of things we adjusted. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, butter smooth. All right, so Vegas 64 is out. Let me tell you what. This thing is hot. All right, so now we're gonna go test out the 570. Again, we have the gigabyte, four gigabyte. So many gigabytes when I talk about this one. Gigabyte, gigabyte, you know? Anyways, it's four gigabyte, gigabyte, 
570 graphics card. But anyways, this is my first time plugging this card up. So I'm, I'm finding out with you guys right here. I honestly have never plugged it up. I just took it out of the box. So uh, hey, we're both gonna see what it does here. All right, so now we're in the Division 2 with the 570, and right now as we spawn into the same control point, we are right at 70 right now. Let's go down here and start running around and see what we can get. And again, settings are on high, V-Sync is off. Um, 80, look at that. 76, 72. Oh, big guy out here. I don't know if I can get him right here. Oh, it's an actual uh, bounty, huh? 77. So it's really performance fantastic here. Like, much, much better than I expected for a $100 card. 80s right now. 70. Now, again, I am at 1080, right? Which is what we're testing both cards from. Um, I used a 64 for a 1440p, so, you know. Uh, sure, I wouldn't be getting this performance with this card at 1440p, so you kind of take it right there, but as far as 1080 gaming, I mean, this is a shocker. This is really nice. All right, and just for the heck of it, we're going to go ahead and put the 570 in medium settings as well. As you can see right, right up here in the low 80s, but when I was dabbling around a little while ago right down here, it peaked up into the hundreds for a few seconds. Let's go see if we can get that to happen again. Again, I, I wouldn't recommend it being played in... Uh, medium settings like just right here i know you guys can't see it on the camera but the shadows reflecting off the wet ground uh it looks bad all right so we're back in the shadow of war with the 570 we're on high settings right now and we're only getting around 65 64 right now we'll go ahead and let it run and see what we uh see what our average is going to be let's see probably somewhere in the low 60s i think where are we at wow 68 Alright, so not bad. Again, when you got around all the foliage and the trees and you had a whole lot going on in the scene, it, it dropped a little bit to the high 50s. But um, again, 68, not bad. And again, that's on high settings. All right, so now we're going to go put it on down into medium settings and we're around 80 right now. But I'm kind of curious, once we get into that scene with all the stuff going on, we see the shadows kind of jumping in and out and uh, stuff like that. So, uh, 80s. Yeah, it's, yeah. And it's almost, again, we're not going to be going this fast through the world and everything, but going through this benchmark, it, it's annoying. And again, you're not going to be going through the world that fast when you're playing a game, so you're probably not going to notice that. But uh, again, running this benchmark, you see it big time. Like, there goes the grass. The shadows are popping in. The green moss. It's, it's, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. Again, so I think high, obviously, is going to be our uh, goal to stay on high. When you go to medium, it's pretty rough. But uh, we're about to get to the end right here. Let's see what we get. Again, we stayed in the 80s the majority of the whole time. So, you know, not too bad. And again, you can probably dabble with a lot of these settings to get different results. So 89. 89 on medium settings. Again, I just wanted to kind of show what medium would be. But I don't recommend anyone using medium. Maybe high and then dabble with some of the shadows or this, that, or the other. But it's a noticeable difference from uh, high to medium. Like, Pretty big difference. So again, maybe put it on high and then adjust some of your other stuff. All right, so we are in Apex Legends now. I left the settings the same as when we were testing it on the 64. And right now, dropping in, we're right around 60, high 60s. 68, 69, 70. So we're staying right there. But let's see what happens once we get into the ground here. Again, the settings, we were on high. No stuttering, very smooth. Really nice, like very, like... Guys, again, this card, it came with two two free games. It came with the Division 2, the Division 2 Gold Edition, that is, not just the regular one. So the card was practically free because that game's amazing. If you haven't played that game, you definitely got to play it. All right, so we got the 570 out. Let me tell you what, this thing is spicy too. I did not know these things got this hot. Like, good night. Like, seriously, it's not just warm to the touch. It's almost like you're cooking an egg on these things, you know? But uh, anyways, let's see if I can hold this thing. That was the uh, 570 really, really shocked me, much better than I expected. So some of you might be wondering like, why even buy a Vega 64 when that 570 ran so good, right? Again, me, I love 4K, but of course, you know, 4K don't have high refresh rate monitors yet and everything like that, and it's pretty expensive, you know? Um, so 1440p, 2K, it is absolutely gorgeous 
and that's kind of where we are right now and that's why I have the 64 not for a high frame rate uh, 1080p gaming but so I can get good performance out of my 1440p and right now just for example I'm at 85 right now um, let's look in this water shadow I don't know if you guys you guys probably can't see it in the camera but there's a reflection of the building in each window where the Sun is reflecting off that building as I'm getting blown up here uh, is reflecting in that water as well so I don't know if you catch me so we got windows right there with the reflection then look up here you can see the Sun coming off those windows right there absolutely crazy and that's 109 113 and then we look down here and the exact reflection is right down in the water I think this low hundred dollar card is absolutely awesome I really didn't again that was the first time I ever plugged that in I did not expect those results at all like I expected to be you know struggling to hit 60s or whatnot you know and it was absolutely running fantastic like I mean Holy smokes, just absolutely awesome. I mentioned if we got the, uh, spent the 20, 30 bucks more, got the eight gigabyte one. I mean, just wow. And if you calculate the games we got for it, right? The Division Two Gold Edition and the World War Z, we pretty much paid nothing for the card. I mean, what an absolute steal. And then again, we go to the Vegas 64, which I love playing in 1440p. Like, I don't want to sound snobby or anything, but it's hard for me to go back and play 1080p now that, again, on my console, I used to always play in 4K. When I watch movies, it's in 4K. So it's kind of hard for me to go back to 1080p. Not saying it's bad or anything like that, but after you see that butter smooth 4K or 1440p with high frames, it's just, I mean, it, it's just hard to go back from that. So again, if you want the best of the best, sure, get that better card. Like I said, the Vegas 64 really performs on that. And when you get that 1440p, I can't stress it enough, it is just butter smooth. And the little details you see, like we saw the reflections off the building into the water, it's just like that through the entire game. And it's just, it's a completely different experience when you get up there, you know. But again, that 1080p with the 570, it performed absolutely amazing. And you can also put that as far as what kind of games you play. Like if you're just playing like first person shooters like Call of Duty or Apex or Fortnite and stuff, you know, the 570s can do you just fine. All the other details in that 4040p stuff that you're going to get out of the Vegas 64 for Fortnite or Apex or something like that, it's just unneeded when you get into that you know i really like this 1440p when i get into stuff like the division or uh uh you know assassin's creed stuff like that that are really just bring me into the story you know so that's that's where i really like the extra power of the vega 64. the other thing i learned from this which i'm really excited about is our budget pc build i think we're gonna get a lot better performance out of it, right i thought i was just gonna slap together you know some uh, some cheap parts and kind of be like yeah, okay let's see what we get but I'm really, really excited to see what we can get out of it right now. Like, it's going to be a budget PC that, at this rate, is going to perform pretty good because a lot of the stuff I got is fairly similar to what I have in mind right now. So I'm really excited to see what we get out of that budget build. But again, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this one. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. And like I said, within the next week or two, we're going to have that budget build. So I'm pretty excited for that one. So please do subscribe and stop by for that one as well. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.